Today, we focus on a man worth celebrating, the late Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. One week ago today, we stood here and took our oaths to do our best as state representatives. Within each of us, we hold a gift. A gift of public service, a gift of believing and carrying out what is right for the people we serve, a gift for upholding the Constitution. As I embark on this journey as a freshman legislator, I am learning what I have to offer and also what I can learn from each of you. Mr. Speaker, I had the honor of visiting the King Center in Atlanta. The experience truly changed my life. It was powerful knowing that the Ebenezer Baptist Church in the third and final place his body was laid to rest was a mere 30 yards away. I knew Reverend King had wisdom, values, and courage, but what I didn't realize until I walked through the exhibit was that his real gift was that of a preacher, the ability to articulate the message of freedom to all people. I also noticed that he was tired, and through my humble eyes, this movement became much bigger than him as a person, a husband, a father. I saw his human side, and he predicted that he wouldn't live to see his grandchildren, but his faith and quest for freedom didn't waver. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to, I would like to ask permission for a quote. Please continue. Faith is taking the first step even when you don't see the whole staircase. I was mesmerized by this experience and for the first time in my professional life, I learned to slow down and practice the discipline of listening. As one of the representatives from the most diverse district in Washington State, I tried to put Reverend King's words into action by listening and carefully connecting to people one at a time, together to create a stronger unified community. It is within our abilities as state representatives to honor all of our communities. This can be challenging with the many issues we face, but in the light of Reverend King, we know that all of our children in this great state deserve a chance to succeed. As Reverend King demonstrated, we may get tired, but we shouldn't waver. Mr. Speaker, if I may share this last quote. Please continue. If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. I ask Mr. Speaker and the ladies and gentlemen of the House that you keep in mind today and always as we work hard together and remember that we may not be able to do everything, but we can do something. The greatest gift is the gift of freedom and democracy. Thank you.